What's going on? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. We are building the IoT network of the future. I am your host, CTO, and founder of PSB Advanced Technology, where we're here to bridge the gap between IoT and you. So, what are we working on? We are working on building the network infrastructure, the LoRaWAN infrastructure. Why is that important, you ask? Well, it's important because it provides preventative data solutions. Having sensor data will allow us to get information ahead of time so we can focus on analyzing that data and coming up with better solutions to any vulnerability or, you know, just to enhance the business, the bottom line, your residential, your personal life, it doesn't really matter. If you are a business, and you're wondering, hey, how could this help me? Well, first and foremost, if you do have coverage in your area, the best part about it is all you need to do is get in contact with us and we'll provide a sensor for your company, set it up, show you how to use the dashboard, and let you know when that data is going through. Now, while that data is working for you, you say, well, what type of sensor could I use for my business? I'm not too sure how to use IoT and how it, re it relates to me. Well, one way, one way you can utilize the IoT network infrastructure, say, for example, you are a brick and mortar type of retail store or something like that, and you are dependent on your customers coming into your store for sales. And you're wondering, when do I, you know, when's the best time to try to focus on a sale or market and advertise an item? How do I know what times of the day is best for my company? Well, you can set up a window and door sensor. And honestly, you can see, you know, how often people are going in and out yeah it may just count you know all the times the door is open um but you can see where activity is the most during your work hours um you can also set up a people counter um specifically to count your customers coming in and out and this is a good way you can track your um you can track your business without actually tracking the financials and the sales. One way to track that stuff is, you know, follow the number. But what happens if you want to hire like an intern to help you out and you don't want to give them access to the financials, you know, the, to, to that also requires, you know, an, another level of expertise uh, for you to hire for that position, which you know more money so this way you can actually bring somebody on board um, to just track the sensor data or you can just do it from yourself right from your phone right from you know your office or your remote location it really doesn't matter once we connect the sensor to the network you can just log into the console and then you can boom have access to that data right at your fingertips but that's just further down the line before we get into those steps, we need to actually build the infrastructure. And currently right now, we are well on our way. Helium has given us the opportunity to build this network infrastructure. And we have over 180,000 hotspots currently online worldwide. We are growing at an exponential rate. And this LoRaWAN infrastructure, this LoRaWAN coverage can really improve your bottom line but what we do over at PSB advanced technology before we figure that well PSB advanced technology thrives off of the helium blockchain so what's helium you ask helium is a global distributed network of hotspots that create public long-range wireless coverage for LoRaWAN enabled IOT devices hotspots produce and are compensated in HNT the native cryptocurrency of the Helium blockchain. The Helium blockchain is a new blockchain built from the ground up to incentivize the creation of the decentralized public wireless network. How do we make money off of this? Well, each hotspot creates the people's network. 
What's the People's Network? It's a long range wireless coverage for very low power and inexpensive IoT devices. And we're rewarded HT for doing this. So I'm able to pay you a nice incentive because you're helping me build out this network. So one of our devices looks something like this. This is called the Curlink Helium Hotspot. It's about the size of my hand, which is not that big. <laughs> well, look, let me show you in comparison. Here is an iPhone, and here is the hotspot. As you can see, it's really not that big, okay? So the best part about it, we would install this inside your uh, location, and this would start creating LoRaWAN coverage for IoT devices. There's two ways we can go ahead and install and provide coverage. We have an indoor setup, or we can set up the antenna with an outdoor antenna as well, which would be the most optimal setup because we need high elevation and we need clear line of sight so we can improve the signal strength. Helium. So how does this all work? Well, Helium has the proof of coverage algorithm. And that's what's used to verify the hotspots and where they are located. POC, proof of coverage, sends a signal to verify. And on an ongoing basis, those hotspots are honestly representing their locations and the wireless network coverage they're creating from that location. Here are the three roles of the POC, proof of coverage. There is the challenger, which is the hotspot that constructs and issues the POC challenge. There's the transmitter, also known as the challenge. This hotspot is a target of the POC challenge and is responsible for transmitting or beaconing challenge packets to potentially be witnessed by geographically proximate hotspots. And last, the third one, the witness. Hotspots that are in close proximity to the transmitter and report the existence of the challenge packet after it has been transmitted. Now, you're probably listening to this and you're like, I have no idea what any of that means. Well, let me put this in a little bit simpler terminology. So, I'm going to do a little acting here, so don't laugh, all right? But if, I mean, it's okay if you do. Uh, but anyway, so you have the challenger. The challenger is like, you're anybody there? Can you hear me? The transmitter, all right, says, hey, I can hear you. I hear you, all right? And then the witness. I saw the interaction between those two. Okay, let me try that one more time. Someone yells out, can you hear me? All right, one of the hotspots yells out, quotes, can you hear me? Another hotspot says, yeah, I can hear you. And then the third hotspot says, I saw those two talking. Okay, so that is the proof of coverage, essentially. All right, so one shoots out, says, hey, I'm over here. Can anybody verify my location? Another hotspot says, yeah, I hear you. I can hear you. I, I received that signal. I can see the signal that you are putting out there. I can see the, the beacon, okay? I hear the beacon. I received it. I, can t I see that you are located where you're telling me you're located. And then the witness says, yeah, I can vouch to that interaction. I can vouch that hotspot a and hotspot b are communicating i was there i saw the whole thing happen i was witness to that that communication so that's proof of coverage and that's what allows us to help provide um a honest representation of the hotspot locations and also to stop people from trying to game the network now, 
The hotspots submit challenges once per 240 blocks, all right? The challenger first generates a key pair, so we have the public key and a private key. The request is valid and accepted by the blockchain. The challenge packet is created, delivered to transmitter via the Helium blockchain, which is a peer-to-peer -peer network. The target receives the challenge packet, decrypts the outermost layer using its private key and the public key for this challenge. It immediately transmits the results packet to the network. And any number of proxim proximate geographic hotspots will hear it and will witness the packet. And that is the proof of, uh, proof of coverage, the proof construction, and target selection process. Now, as the witnesses, the witnesses of proof of coverage relies entirely on beaconing. A beacon is a signal transmission witnessed by any hotspot. The transmitter receives the challenge. It will beacon the challenge packet. No intended recipient, any hotspot that is geographically proximate to the transmitter is eligible to witness and report back to the blockchain. So basically that's saying that any hotspots that's nearby can hear and provide the, the, uh, 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 the recipient. There is no like specific hotspot like, oh, this hotspot located in location A is specifically going to route a transmission to hotspot and location B. No. Each hotspot is its own thing. It sends out a signal, or, or, or not even, send, yeah, it just shoots out a signal, hey, hey, you know, and then anybody that's nearby, any hotspot that is nearby that can communicate from clear line of sight will say, hey, I heard that, let me report back to the blockchain, to the network that I heard it, okay? So after a hotspot witnesses a beacon from a transmitter, it will submit this as part of the POC challenge receipt that gets assembled and submitted to the blockchain by the POC challenger. Now, what is blockchain technology? Just real quickly. So blockchain technology is the solution and future development of the world. It's a public peer-to-peer -peer network. It's a database and it's connected by nodes. All right, nodes are computers. All right, every computer that is connected to the internet communicates with the blockchain is known as a node. Now, the actual blockchain is like a database. Well, it is a database, all right, like a ledger, like a public ledger, like you used to write notes, all right. And the best part about the blockchain technology is that it can be utilized in any category in any business it really doesn't matter okay it's a public blockchain meaning that anybody can access this information anybody can see the transactions on the blockchain so DeFi, you may hear a lot which stands for decentralized finance ethereum is known as the DeFi blockchain where they have smart contracts Blockchain technology is a trustless system, meaning that you don't need to trust the actual person sending or receiving any transactions. What you're trusting is the actual smart contract or the blockchain. You are trusting the blockchain to do what it's meant to do, which is send and report on transactions. It's immutable. What does that mean? It cannot be changed, all right? You can only add to the blockchain. You cannot go back and delete or edit anything in on the blockchain. So for example, transaction A was sent to person. That person receives it. That's now recorded on the blockchain. But then we figure out, well, we need to update the amount that was, um, that was sent. We said that 10 was sent, but now we actually need to say that 5 was sent. This is all just hypothetical numbers. Now, in the current system, you would kind of like go to that table on a database and try to edit and do an update or whatever, like SQL or command or something like that. But with blockchain, 
you'll just create a new block. And that new block will say, all right, it's five. And when the consensus means like when it gets an agreement with everybody, all the other nodes on a blockchain, and then that new block will be the most current information of the status of the blockchain. So as more blocks are added to the blockchain, that's being updated. So the most recent block is the current status of the blockchain, of the database, of what's going on. And the way we decide what information is accurate is called consensus. All right, you, uh, uh, the consensus algorithms. And there are different types of consensus algorithms um, and uh, uh, for, sort of for many different blockchain technologies and crypto projects out there. And there's also cryptography, and that's what's used for security. On an enterprise level terminology of blockchain, it's a decentralized distributed ledger that allows a peer-to-peer -peer transaction secured by cryptographic algorithms and consensus mechanisms. On here is an example of a blockchain interaction. A user request for a transaction. A block representing the transaction is now created. The block is broadcasted to all of the nodes on the network. Remember, a node is a computer. All of the nodes validate the block and come to a consensus. The block is added to the chain and the transaction gets verified and executed. And that is how a new block and information is tracked on the blockchain. Blockchain terminology and consensus mechanisms. Here are a few types of cons consensus mechanisms that you may uh, hear while learning about blockchain technology. So blockchain technology are protocols that make sure all nodes are synchronized with each other and agree on which transactions are legitimate and are added to the blockchain. So that's what the connection, connect, cons, 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 I'm sorry, consensus mechanism is. It verifies all nodes have the same blockchain data. When transactions are added to the blockchain, achieving consensus is necessary to reach an agreement with the current state of the blockchain. Basically, does the data match across all the nodes? And then tr all transactions are constantly checked and that the blockchain is constantly audited by all nodes. Remember, a node is just a computer. This is the job of the consensus group, the consensus group, all of the computers, the nodes that work together in verifying the current status of the blockchain. And here are a few types of consensus mechanisms. We have proof of work. Now proof of work mechanism involves miners who solve complicated mathematical puzzles to produce a new block. Proof of stake is used as a, a randomized process to figure out who gets a chance to produce the next block. You have delegated proof of stake, which is the process users can stake their coins and vote for a particular number of delegates to create a new block. You also have proof of capacity. This is a method that stores solutions of complex mathematical puzzles in digital storages such as hard disk that are used to create new blocks. You also have proof of elapsed time, where is this a process that randomly and fairly decides the producer of a new block based on their wait in time, almost kind of like with Solana with their proof of history. You have proof of identity, which is a cryptographic evidence for a user's private key that is cryptographically attached to a specific transaction. You have proof of authority, which helps the identities of validators in the network are at stake. And proof of activity, a mechanism is a kind of a hybrid of proof of work and proof of stake. Now, proof of attendance protocol, here's just an example. I was had the opportunity to be part of the POAP uh, ERC-721 protocol, proof of attendance. 
And what is this actually? So an ERC721 is the technical term for an NFT. This protocol allows for the creation of NFTs, which are tokens used as badges to give out to community members. So you can reward community members with a POAP badge for attending community events, meetings, webinars, services, and more. You can also create customized badges for unique designs and specific topics. You can also connect and verify identity with your MetaMask wallet utilizing the ERC721. I'm also working on a Helium badge NFT project for DAP University thesis, but that's something that's down the line. But this is something as an example of what you can do with blockchain technology and the benefits of how this can be used to keep track or even provide a positive uh, reinforcement to any type of activity to keep track of you know virtual conferences um, and uh, uh, any type of zoom meetings or anything at all however you know webinars community events anything online you can keep track of it with the proof of attendance protocol which is really awesome now at PSB advanced technology we offer helium consultation services why hire a helium consultant well you're new to the helium ecosystem you want to maximize your helium knowledge potentially increase your HT rewards and you also need help with hotspot placement it's a lot of information to learn about RF theory, the H3 grid, the antenna choice, and network optimization. We are busy with life, and you can increase your learning curve with a Helium Consultant. Let's build the IoT network of the future. You can hire me today for your Helium journey to enhance your version of our community. Here's a, a quick breakdown to the services that we offer in our helium consultation. We have hotspot placements, which is we have a standard and unique packages. We also created our helium density solution strategy. We have project deployments, which is a custom solution for your unique location. We also have helium mentorship, which is a Zoom call to guide you through your setup. All consultation services require 75% deposit payment, and we accept USD, HMT, BTC, and ETH as a form of payment. Project timelines are 21 days to completion. Each location is unique and there are no guarantees on earned HNT. PayPal is also accepted. Crypto payment are calculated based off the 24 hour HOD. Here are a few ways that you can reach me for any type of Helium consultation services. I would really recommend you email me at simonfuture at pm.me or you can also reach me on Twitter at simonfuture number two. Now let's just dive in just a little bit more. What is Helium? Well Helium is a blockchain that's basically everything we just went over and I know it might seem like a lot of information but you don't have to worry about that because that's what we're here for. We're here to build out the IoT network, and IoT stands for Internet of Things. We utilize the Helium blockchain to help incentivize this infrastructure build, the decentralized wireless infrastructure. And it connects the things we do every day to the LoRaWAN network. Basically, Helium allows me the ability to offer you passive income for helping me build out the network. What is LoRaWAN? Well, LoRaWAN is a long-range, wide-area network. Hundreds of companies and thousands of developers are already building on the People's Network. It's the largest and fastest-growing LoRaWAN network in the world. We have thousands of existing solutions, sensors, devices, and gateways that can be configured to run LongFi, which is a powerful blend of LoRaWAN and blockchain technologies. As a hotspot host, you provide proof of coverage to the network. Proof of Coverage, POC, is a unique work algorithm that uses radio waves to validate that hotspots are providing legitimate wireless coverage. Here are a few network users and a few ways that you can utilize Helium and how people are using the Helium network right now. We have 
future farms, small and smart. We have the smart home automation style. We also have the smart city. We have IoT and agriculture. We're going from smart cities, smart emergency, smart environment, smart utilities, logistics, industrial, smart home, healthcare. I think you get it, right? Our goal is to build the network infrastructure so we can transition any town, any city, any location into a new smart zone. Here's one of the locations that I'm working on right now. I will be donating one of our hotspots to the St. Joan of Arc School. And they'll be able to utilize the LoRaWAN network for, well, some really great things. How does my Helium hotspot earn? Well, here are two t basic tasks for the Helium network. And I'm sorry that this information seems really repetitive, but I just want to let you guys know that we're working on this network infrastructure and the way that I can provide a passive income incentive to you is by the proof of coverage and also it relays device data. So hotspots earn HNT for transferring device data over their network. The more device data a hotspot transfers, well, the more it potentially could earn. What are the costs and investment and operations to just, you know, having one of these hotspots in your location? Well, <laughs> just to start, it really doesn't cost much at all. I mean, for electrical use, you're talking about a large fancy Starbucks coffee per year. And to get started, well, you need a Helium hotspot and that's provided to you and set up at no charge, really, no charge at all. I come, I do the installation, you help me build the network, it's a win-win situation. And the data usage, well, it's, it uses about less than two Netflix movies a year. So you're wondering, well, this sounds too good to be true. Why wouldn't anybody else be on this? Well, <laughs> there are, and it's crazy. We're growing at exponential rates right now. And to be honest, this opportunity to help become a host and build out the network won't last forever. So I totally take advantage of the opportunity while it's available. You can connect anything to the Helium network. Well, any LoRaWAN compatible devices. In a lot of cities, they're being used to track bicycles or scooters. They're also being used to help, you know, keeping track of soil samples and water leak sensors, or even ways to help improve and monitor air quality in businesses and schools. Here's a certificate that I've used just to kind of let you guys know a little bit more about myself and how I've completed the blockchain developer bootcamp. This is what a future spot curlink edition hotspot looks like and also in the background is the helium developers kit that we use to create sensors we're working on more than just building out the network we're also working on sensor development and ways to make the network the people's network more efficient and be able to provide the sensors for you at great cost so you you're now you're like hey Everything sounds good, but how do I know this is safe? How do I know this is secure? Well, that's one of the biggest things that Helium and all of us are working on. And just to let you know, the security of the network is the highest priority, and it's currently very secure. The network is safe and it's protected. And you can look up the network security overview in more details if you'd like. You can also check out that we are um, approved by FCC. Any hotspot that goes out to a location needs to be evaluated by the FCC before we can go ahead and put up for sale. So basically, what does this say? Well, the FCC has evaluated the impact of the radio waves on human health and safety. And with their approval, it's saying everything is good to go. Helium hotspots operate on the 915 megahertz frequency range in the North America area. So. If you're concerned about internet security or health, well, you don't need to because we're FCC approved and that is our main concern. So who can be part of this? Well, just anybody. You don't need some fancy clothes. You don't need a lot of money. You don't need to have a business. The only thing you need is internet and a location and somebody to offer you a hotspot to host for them 
or you can actually go and try to purchase your own hotspot as well. If you need help with that, that's what our consultant services are here to provide if you'd like to go down the route and actually buy the hardware to build out your own network. But if you don't have the time to do those things, you can host one of our future spots and we'll come and set it up at your location connected to the internet and you can start earning passive income right away. So just anyone who would like to earn some extra income while supporting the world's largest IoT network. And if that's you, well, get ready, type up that email, get in contact with me, and let's get started. Here are just a few examples that I just want to go over about blockchain and how some places and some protocols are now transitioning from Web 2 companies to Web 3. And remember Amazon and Dropbox, Snowflake, Google, Spotify, well, all of these new places on the blockchain are now being created. You have domain naming services like Handshake, ENS. We also have Filecoin for data storage and web hosting. And Audius, well, they're doing really some fantastic things with music applications, content, and talent. So the blockchain, when I say it's being utilized everywhere, well, it's being utilized everywhere. Here is an example of what it looks like when you have your network set up and you want to go ahead and connect some devices to the network. You can utilize the Helium Console 2.0, which is currently being worked on and updated consistently. But as of right now, it's working and it's a really great feature that they just added called coverage, which will allow you to check out your location and see, hey, What's the coverage like and what are the data packets being sent in this area? Here's another example of what it looks like if you wanted to set up a temperature and humidity sensor. This is what you'll be able to look at on your phone or your desktop or laptop, anywhere you have internet service. You just go ahead, type in the URL, log in with your username and password, and boom, you have access to the data at your fingertips. This is a temperature and humidity sensor that is currently being monitored um, at one of my agriculture locations that were growing um, some of our plants. And we wanted to just check out the temperature and humidity inside of the greenhouse. And this is a great way for us to monitor the, the environment without actually having to go there physically. Here is one of our new, newest users to the network. They're utilizing Helium Network for asset tracking. So their asset tracking for logistics operations is with Hoopo. So they're working on some really fantastic things. So if you wanted to learn more about the network users, either check out some other videos on my channel or go head on over to the Helium site and just Google, you know, Helium network users and you'll start seeing a huge list of individuals and businesses across the world that's working on the people's network. Here is another example of a Helium hotspot. At PSB Advanced Technology, we are affiliates of a few hotspots and LinkStot is one of our main affiliates. You can utilize our discount code, the future spot, and also utilize our link to get in line if you wanted to actually purchase your own hotspot and start building out the network yourself. So, hey, help us support grow, growing the people's network. I'm here to be that liaisons between the IoT network and you. So whether or not you're using one of our devices or you wanna purchase your own, I'm here to offer you that ability. And what is this for? Well, this is for enhancing your future self, enhancing our community, enhancing our world to the next level. If you wanted to support PSB Advanced Technology and our IoT mission, you can also buy one of this awesome future self hats, a great t uh, sweatshirt, zip up hoodie for the fall weather right now, polos, t-shirts, and more. They're all located at dogelord.com. You can see in the description below for those links. Thank you, and let's continue to build the IoT network of the future. My name is Simon, I'm the CTO and founder of PSB Advanced Technology, where we're here to bridge the gap between IoT and you.